Hey guys, this is Mando, and this is my Lego Transformers Optimus Prime. Okay guys, so this is Optimus Prime. This is my version 2 Optimus Prime, if you didn't know that already. And I think it has way better detail, and it looks so much better than my last version. I kind of like that the bumper is more flat instead of round. I feel like that's more accurate, and I like that it's the same gray all around. There's not, like, random gray and random white. The truck bed looks much, much better as well. Before, it just looked like a pair of legs in the back with some feet sticking out. Now, it actually looks like a truck bed, which makes it look so much better. In the back, I was able to hide the head, which I am very proud of, and it makes it look so much more clean. There is still a gap right here, which is a little bit annoying, but it would have made the forearms be very, very thick. As you can see, I decided to go with the gray look over the cartoon accurate white look, which is honestly, I like this look way more than the white for some reason, I just do. I also found that this piece, camera piece right here, actually makes the forearm be closer up to the front of the truck than a regular one by one with a stud on the side. Here is Optimus Prime with Ultra Magnus and they are like the same size because this is what my old version looked like and this is my new version. They're pretty much the same. Here is Transformers Prime, Optimus Prime with Generation 1 Optimus Prime and he is much bigger than the G1 version which I think is actually accurate. Here is Optimus Prime with me, and I think I'm way too tall. Well, that's just the scale I build in, I guess. That's pretty much it for this mode, so let's get into the favorite mode, Robot Mode. Let's transform him. Time for the top view, because it looks better. The first step I like to do is to just rotate these up like that. This clip is very, very tight. Then we can just rotate this down like that, the truck bed down. Then we're just going to rotate this piece around like that. Oh no. Anyways, we're going to rotate this around as well like that so that he can stand much better. Then slide these pieces down on both sides and there we have the legs next let's open up this section and rotate out the head like that and slide the ears up just a little bit pretty much every optimus prime uses this head at this scale and then just push it back like that then you can rotate the waist around and there we go we got that done now we will rotate the forearms out and push the shoulder forward like this on both sides. Now we will rotate these wheels up like this. Now you might think we're done, but there's one more step. What we're going to do is kind of like parts forming, but not really. You're going to move the legs up and rotate the forearm onto his hand and pull it apart like that which is quite hard actually but I edited it to make it look a lot easier than it was <laughs> I totally didn't do that there we have generation 1 Optimus Prime in his robot mode this robot mode looks so much better than the last version I just love it way way more it has way more articulation and the designs look so much better I also built him a gun which looks very very nice I really like the way I use this case here to make the end of the gun. I am so glad I decided to build the gun because giving them weapons just makes them look so much better. Taking a look at the legs, they look way better than they did before. They have like this thin look at the thighs and then the shins are nice and big, which is really accurate to the cartoon. He also kind of has an ankle pivot, which is really nice. With his new and improved articulation, he can get in so many different poses that look really cool. This guy is definitely my new favorite Transformer that I've made. He's got great articulation and he's very accurate and has little to no kibble. 
thing that some people might not like is the hands transformation, but I just think that's just a new way of transforming them. I'm gonna give this guy a 10 out of 10. He's definitely my favorite, and I don't really see any flaws. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.